Hey YouTube. In this video we're going to be using chemistry to make three different inks. Black, blue, brown, and at the end I'll tell you how to make red. I didn't have the necessary chemicals on hand to make red for this video. Okay, to begin you're going to need the following. Some ferric or ferrous chloride. You can also use ferric ammonium sulfate. A bunch of paper cups. This makes cleanup much easier. Some tannic acid. Some water, distilled preferably. A glass pen, an iron pen will also work, or a fountain pen, and then some white paper to write on, and then a small spatula. Okay, so let's get started. Pull off one of your paper cups, and you're going to add some water to it. And to this water, we're going to add some of the tannic acid. About two good scoops will be sufficient. Okay. Make sure to add enough water to get it all dissolved, and you want to swirl it around. It may have been smarter to add the tannic acid first and then the water, because doing it the way I just did made it form a bunch of clumps, and it seems to take forever for those clumps to uh, dissolve away. So what I'm going to do is grab another cup and just decant the uh, dissolved portion into this new cup and leave the clumps behind. All right. Okay, grab another cup. Add some water. And now grab your iron chloride. Mine was so old, it took a little while to get the cap off. Okay, so now we're going to add that to the water. Once again, about two scoopfuls. And just the same, you're going to swirl this around and dissolve it. I couldn't get it all to dissolve, so what I end up doing is just decanting it off into the um, tannic acid. Okay, so you'll just need to pour one into the other. Since I have some particulate in the uh, iron chloride, I'm just going to pour or decant it off into the other. All right. Immediately we get an iron precipitate that happens to be a nice black. And that's how you make black ink. 
So let's uh, take the uh, pin and go give it a try. Make sure you mix it up really good. Alright, so dip in your pin and give it a shot. Okay, pretty easy. Okay, so moving on, it's time to make some blue ink. And uh, for this, you're going to need two paper cups, just like before, the ink you just made. the iron chloride again, potassium or sodium ferrocyanide. Okay, so let's get started. You'll want to put a good scoopful or two in one of the paper uh, cups. And then in the other paper cup, add in the uh, iron salt. The iron salt that I'm using used to be in hydrous, but over the period of years, it's uh, it's extremely hygroscopic, so it's taken on some water, which kind of makes it a mushy, ugly mass. It used to be nice, pretty green. Okay, so we're going to add some water to the uh, potassium ferrocyanide and then add some water to the iron. And just like before, we need to get them uh, to dissolve as best as possible. We're going to zoom in, and just like before, we'll decant one into the other. And we get a nice, pretty blue. So the potassium or sodium ferrocyanide is uh, cyanide in the word or the name, but it's actually pretty low toxicity. The only way it can really be dangerous is if you added a strong acid to it, in which case it would make some hydrogen cyanide. Okay, so now we've got our two inks. Uh, one you saw was blue and the other one's black, so I'm mixing a little bit of the black into the blue uh, to give it a little more depth and make it more of a, a blue-black ink. But you, if you wanted a really just blue ink, you could have left it alone and not added the uh, the black ink. Okay, so we'll try this one out too, just for fun. If you haven't realized by now, I have zero artistic talent. I mean, absolutely no artistic talent. Then I guess that's probably why I'm a chemist and not an artist. This is seriously the best I could come up with. I'm sure somebody in the comments will uh, enjoy this. Okay. Thank goodness we're moving on. So now it's time to make some brown ink. And uh, in two paper cups, you're going to have one of them with um, some copper sulfate pentahydrate 
and in the other you'll have our potassium or sodium ferrocyanide. So add in your salt. And then it's the same procedure. You're going to add water, get them both to dissolve. This time I try to multitask. Okay, so I skipped ahead. I didn't figure you guys wanted to watch me swirl this forever. Okay, same thing. You're going to pour one into the other. And you get what actually looks like a red ink. A real pretty red. However, when you write with it, it actually looks brown. To be honest, it actually seems like it shifts colors. If you draw a line with it, some parts look uh, red, some parts look brown, some parts look black. It's kind of a multicolored rainbow effect. Okay, so we'll give it a try. It writes really smooth. It's kind of a pretty color. Okay. Okay. So here's our three inks. Now, as promised, if you'd like to make a red ink, then all you need to do is make a solution of sodium salicylate in one paper cup and the other paper cup you'll need to have a solution of iron chloride then all you need to do is mix them together uh, much the same way as we did in the other videos after you're done doodling uh, you'll need to take all of your inks and then pour them in separate amber vials and then store them in a cool dry place and they should store indefinitely okay so thanks for watching please write and comment and if you'd like to see more of these videos, then please subscribe.